Look at this, both Valdez and Dexter are working hard at trying to get these plants back up to production levels. It does take them a long time from the red, so you don't want to have too many plants and you want to have enough biologists. Now, it was an understandable bug, as long as it doesn't happen too much, we're not going to let it kill us. Here is our medic, Reba. Reba doesn't really have much to do. Well, that's not good. We need everybody at this outpost delta to uh, be productive here, and that's not going to help. So, you can also see CN2, our constructor bot. He's indecent. Uh, you can build more robots and repair pads for robots. But you might have noticed that uh, Dexter was kind of... He was working when he was unhappy, but that's because he went on shift. We don't really have much of a way for happiness yet. Now, and we also don't have much of a way of plastics yet, but we'll fix all that very soon. Now what I want to do is turn your attention to this. Here you have your status. Welfare is decent. Sort of slowly, the prestige will slowly tick up. Prestige means how often will people come to your colony. Now we've almost finished clearing all of that, so what I want to do, we have full metal. I want to build the landing pad. And I'll have to connect it to here. So we're actually one metal short on what we need. However, we do have this, which is turning stuff into metal. Our food stocks are low. That is not good. So actually... I'll to build that now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off... Oh, I don't... Once I build the pad, I'll turn off permission for colonists until we have at least positive food. Because you don't want to put new mouths to feed until your base can actually support them. We have a full supply of water. That is really good. Grid is kind of close to being overtaxed. We're looking at our power now. It's really slowly ticking down. And that's only because... The wind turbines are working their tails off, and we'll have the big solar panels to carry us through the days. So that's excellent. It's okay, though, because, and I didn't explain this too well at the beginning. What you do is you produce food. Up, oh, the wheat just pops. So what you do is you take the food to the meal makers. It turns vegetables, fruits, and well, actually just veggies and meats into different meals. The better the meal, the more hap it makes people happier. I don't know if it fills their food balls longer or shorter. So I'm going to go ahead and we are processing all that ore. We have one worker in here at all times. Uh, but see, here's the bad thing. You just saw Reba was having to treat Mr. Middleton over here. And I guess somebody came and replaced the medicine that she used to treat him. Working in the mines is very dangerous, and at the beginning of a game, it's the top way that you will run through your medical supplies. That's why I built a medicinal pad here, because we are going to need it. But the first food has been deposited into the meal makers, and it is making meals. We have positive food again. That's very good. I don't understand why they're not carrying the last of these meals, spares, and bioplastic. The resources you get at the beginning are much sturdier than... Yeah, they have this high durability tag because you can be busy with other stuff and you don't want to lose some of your starting material for it. So we are working right now on getting the spaceport built. Once we do that, we will be able to... There you go. So Reba should be carrying a lot of stuff because she doesn't really have any patience to maintain. And she doesn't have any other jobs to do. Reba's kind of a lazy butt, but we're going to fix that really quickly quick and I'm going to show you how as soon as I can so yeah everything's up to decent uh, and they're slowly working on getting it all the way back up to more than decent we can sleep in shifts we have all most of our workers here now here's the thing how many workers do we have we have three workers you can put three guys in the mine at once for so i have workstations for five not counting any miscellaneous hauling that may or may not occur i need more workers and i'm going to need more biologists if i'm going to expand this as well i think i have two engineers at this level no you only have one engineer that's okay for now and one medic which is definitely okay for now because I only built one bed because I don't anticipate anyone getting sick more than one at a time. 
Uh, we are unfortunately short one metal. So we're gonna increase time dilation. Using our awesome powers. I bet you didn't know that the cow was a wizard, but he's a wizard. And it's awesome. The meal makers are both stocked with a meal and uh, a spare food that it can use to make another meal. That is fantastic. So what I really do need, I don't need security guards yet either. I don't have the prestige for that. What I really do need is, oh good, we're starting to get plastics too. What I am going to need is I need more workers to work the mines and these machines. And I need more biologists to maintain these at the highest production level so we continuously get food. As well as, I need to build a laboratory so I can make meat and so I can also make medicine. Medicine is the best, oh, there we go. Landing permissions, so, uh, no, that's not where you get them from, you get them from here. Colonist, trader, visitors, you need a starport for that, so, I don't need another medic. And I don't need these. Uh, what I do need is the... So yeah, we're gonna have... We're gonna say 50% workers. I'm gonna say I want 40% biologists and 10% engineers just because they need to fix and build things and robots. As well as the fact that they will become useful once we get our production into high gear. Uh, right now, we are keeping up with both the metal we produce and the starch we produce, so I don't think we need to worry about adding more machines quite yet. We have no metals, but we are fixing that. I have no idea why that machine did not just put the ore directly into the metal processor. In fact, I built the airlock connected to the mine here specifically so it would build the to the metal processor. So I don't know why I did that. Uh, that was kind of interesting. Four batteries, which means that we're not going to worry about a thing. Uh, it is getting dark, so the vast majority of our power generation is dropping off. But again, that's okay. Uh, full crew of people sleeping, nobody in the medical bay. Uh, unfortunately, constructor bots, when they don't have any hauling or building or maintenance stuff to do, will just hang around and do nothing. I'm just, right now, I'm checking to see. Uh, this stuff's maintenance is pretty good, so we're not going to have to worry about using any of our spares yet, which is good, because we cannot replace our spares yet. We have three ore, but we're about to produce metals. So what do I want to do? Well... I need to try to figure out how, and I'm waiting on more people so that I can produce things faster. But the next thing I need is the lab. So it's going to take one metal and one bioplastic to build the lab. Then it's going to take another metal and another bioplastic to connect it. Then it's going to take a couple more plastics to just, you know, get it in. Oh, hey, colony ship. You can tell because it doesn't have any kind of markings. So now we've gone from seven to eight. Aw. But he is another worker. Edgardo Care. What What the hell kind of name is Edgardo? But we have reached the expansion. Our food stocks are still low. And I that's part of the reason why I'm building the lab is so that I can get more meat and more variety in here. We have, I have two meals, I have one meal in storage. So I believe, is that you, Adardo? No, that's about this. Am I, am I racist? Am I only recruiting Hispanic workers? Am, what, what is this? What is this? I don't know. But we have two people in the mines, we have another person making metal, that's good. We need at least two metal before we can build the lab. Oh, that's Valdez. I keep thinking that's the new guy. I'm like, what What the hell? He came to take a drink and now he's taking his nap. I don't... But no, that's not the, the new guy's in here. You can't click on the guys in the buildings. It can only show you that they're there. Uh, there's some ore waiting there. There is... And again, this shows you the total amount of the resource. So there's two in here, there's one in here. 
if I had one metal and I queued it and it was sitting or something waiting to be constructed, it will still show up here until you rebuild. So this one plastic biopress is what? Okay, no. The bioplastic processor is fine. The metal processor is just barely keeping up, but I don't see a reason to build another one. So we're just gonna fast forward until one of the workers comes on shift, and sadly, our medic has absolutely nothing to do, as does the engineer. I mean, he and the constructor bar can easily do the maintenance. There we go, starting to turn stuff into stuff. So that's all we need because I believe that all the stuff in the room that I want to build are used plastics. So again, we'll go put the lab here, connect to here. Now before I build any further down here, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to build an oxygen generator here. It's, I'm nowhere near, this supports 20 people, I'm not even to half of that. So I'm nowhere near that. But I do need to, the oxygen generator gets weaker, as you can see, we're down to 21 here, we're down to 21 here, down to 21 here. We can, if we put another oxygen generator here, it'll help expand this a lot. So right now what I want to do is I want to check on my grid. Grid takes 38, so we're not overloaded yet. Uh, we are probably going to... Oh, that's cool. I can just conga line around here. <laughs> I like how the little robot's like, Screw you guys, I'm faster. Nee, 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 nee. It just takes off. They do have that moment of acceleration. Oh, right. Uh, no, that's a medic. That's an engineer. So hopefully Luke gets... A, I know that the food stocks are low. I'm working on fixing that right now. And I am so glad that you're building more plastic because we really do need plastic. And I'll show you guys what a lab can do. A lab can do amazing things, guys. I have enough beds. That is a gorgeous shot of the sun on this world right here as it ascends into... Am I still at... Okay, I was at still at one speed. I'm like, that is a quick moving sun. Let me see for a second. Was somebody here? I'm sorry about that. I thought I heard someone opening my door. I'm like, what are you doing? The light is on. The recording light is on. And yes, I have a little recording light. It was an awesome Christmas present. Oh, damn it. Okay, so you can see, again, one of our workers has this trauma injury. So that's what happens when you are uh, injured in the mines, like scrapes, broken bones, that kind of stuff. Now, we are healing, which is great. I think they're actually using the medicine from the storage, which I like because I don't want it taking up storage. But we are running out of medicine. However, the lab is where we can have more medicine. As I can see, we're already producing the medicinal plants that we need. And also, my biologists have finally caught up in on maintaining this, and we're trying to get more biologists. So, what I can do here... I don't have any metal, so I don't want to expand yet. We'll build a workbench right here. That's where you turn plastic in, and we'll build two of these. It will not take long because they are right next to the storage where they're storing the plastics. You can turn one medicinal plant and one bioplastic into medicine. Because I guess you gotta build the container that it sits in. And there are three types of meat, just like there's a bunch of different types of other food. Oh, sweet. More colonists. We went from eight to. 10 biologist which we'll need because we just built two more stations and worker so now I can theoretically have three people in the mine and one person working each of these at all times which is great oh and see now the medic is able to do something when they're on shift instead of just standing around and here I can just click on the lab
Look at that, she's just using her little computer to make medicine. Which is kind of weird, because I don't see where she put stuff in. And, oh, uh, look at all these patties. Okay, so how do I... How do I get out of this? Yeah, I, you have to hit escape to get out of this, but I always think that that's how to get out of the game. So you can have chicken, beef, and pork. Variety makes people happier, so... And I don't know if they have, like, different... I don't think that the game is complicated at this time to have different levels. Uh, that took another quarter of water. How about... Okay, the water is really bad. We need to produce... I need, the next three meadow has to go into another water extractor. Fortunately, we are maintaining these tissue synthesizers. Uh, I've, I've seen people on the forums act, or ask, are we ever going to be able to get like animals and like crops and stuff? Well, I mean, technically you have crops here that are just grown on these pad thingies. Yes, I know our food stocks are low. It's okay, we just significantly increased our food production over here. It's okay. Yeah, maintain that wheat. Food is my biggest concern at this time with this. I mean, just like any other colony building game, you, the challenges you haven't won. Like, so at this point, the last time I played, I believe power was kicking my rear. Now, I don't worry about power at all. Right now, I'm worried about food because we are producing it just fast enough to consume. That's not good because if there's any kind of delay in production, Somebody might go hungry. But the good thing is, at least she has, uh... I need one more metal. Yeah, we have a full crew here. And, and I need... My plants are not producing enough food. Which is why I built these m meat things to help increase production. But I'm also not producing enough starch, even with two of my plants devoted to starch. Because you can see, one of my workers is idle. Because I have five workers for five stations. But look, there's no bioplastic to do. So she'll probably just... Yeah, it looks like she'll shift into the mine when somebody comes out. Which is great for metal production. It's not helping us on our plastic production. And now we have the need for more plastic as a regular resource. Because I am trying to make medicine. Is she really going to... So it looks like a medic can make a batch of medicine on one shift. Yep, there it is. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, no. Look, just barely did not hit. Must have just barely not ticked over. It's going to take her a unit, a uh, very, a part of a portion of unit of work to get this done. But as you can see, the meat is already being produced, which is excellent. Everything looks like it's being maintained to an excellent level, and it is, which is fantastic. There we go. How about a mega meat patty? So what do I want to do now? Well, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Yeah, this is a basic meal. Again, I think it makes them happier. I don't think it gives them any kind of... This could be... This is going to be another basic meal. If your food stocks get low, it would turn single units into food. What you But you don't want that. What you want is... You want them to use multiple units of food so that you get better meals so that makes your colonists happy. Oh, what is this? We have a trading ship. So we can buy and sell stuff from these guys and actually a way to advance the game. You guys may not have noticed this, but uh, see, like, I can replace my radish, my onions with the DNA, but there's no way I'm going to have 100. And he does have limited cargo space so uh, does he have anything I want well he does have food since I'm producing medicine right now I'm going to trade two of them for and he does have coins coins can be really lucrative just enough food to get us through and of course his commission sucks because I don't know if commission will go down as uh, your prestige goes up. Right now, our prestige is probably sucky. No, our status is excellent. So, our welfare is excellent. So, our prestige is going to start ticking up. 
So a couple of people should go over there and start doing that. There we go. Now, the next part of our expansion project is we need a bigger water tank. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. No, I need another water jet extractor. And that's going to use up all our metal, but it's okay because it's very important that we do this. I've, I've played through games. It, it's not bad now, but for some reason, water does ebb and flow. Uh, I don't know why it just does. So you want to have a little, it was, I could see it was usage was a little, your usage stays the same, but how much it produces is the top of the ebbs and flows. You can count on it to run at about 70%, which means three and a half. Is that right? 0.7 times 5 is three and a half. Yes. You, so you should just count it to run 70%. Uh, since that's less than a full unit of water off of our usage, and I don't want to dip into the storage if we don't have to, we're just going to go ahead. I love this. Look at the detail of this game. He's carrying you with a little exoskeleton. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Okay, producing metal and producing plastic again. And the worker goes right into the mines. These guys are troopers right here. Uh, Erlene, I am a little disturbed that the people in charge of sending us new people might be racist. Why, why are only the Spanish speakers going into the mines? Okay, no, we, we have Middleton. Middleton, thank you for keeping us from racism. The cow appreciates you so much. It is kind of weird that he went to have a bite to eat before he went to sleep, but it's not so bad. Yeah, and we're, the medic and the robots would just be busy, and the engineer would just be busy uh, carrying the food that we just purchased from. So there's three in here. Uh, somebody should restock that cabinet soon. There we go. Yeah, buddy, look at this. That greatly increased... Total of five, total of seven and a half. I don't know if that extra half is worth the... Oh man, we must have had a really bad night because our power is running lowish. So we must have had low wind. But I don't think it's anything to worry about quite yet. It's always weird to me that the tissue synthesizers can hold three at a time. But, I mean, it's never going to, I've never seen a tissue si synthesizer with two units because they produce one at a time. Again, this, this game is still not hugely Dwarf Fortress depth. Your workers don't get better at their jobs. They don't have likes and dislikes. They're, de they're in these class systems, so they're more like cogs, you know. Uh, one, Patterson is going to be as effective as a grotto, is going to be as effective as Middleton in the mines. Now, the, and the game may or may not get more depth into that. I still love the aesthetic. I am not loving how quickly this power is going down. And that's probably because we are producing one out of 22 units that we need right now. Yes, I see that. How much power do we have? But So I'm just going to fast forward to the day. I don't think we need to worry about... Because the wind is ticking up. I think it'll be okay. Oh god, oh god, did I make a boo-boo? Did I make a boo-boo? I made a boo-boo. Oh, wait, no! 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 Come on, solo panels! Solo panels! I need another turbine. Uh, we are losing power. It didn't give me the lost... It's, oh man, it's shutting down the... Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. We are ticking up. Okay, that's good. Oh, colony ship. Ten to... Another worker. Another biologist. Okay, so I need another wind turbine thing in the jigger. I do have enough metal to build another wind turbine thing in the jigger, so that's what I'm going to do. We'll use up all of our metal. We have a solid number of people working. 
since I now have more than enough biologists and more than enough workers, I'm not going to have to worry. Bye, thank you. It's so cool how it takes off like that. I love this game. Why did I stop playing? Oh, I thought it was dead. And it's never fun when, you know, eventually all games will die and lose this. Damn it. Oh, Mio Jimenez. Thankfully, being your health when you're injured, sick, or whatnot will go down. Being in a bed will drastically slow it. So even if you don't have enough medicine... Yeah, she's bringing it from storage. I wonder why they didn't, haven't restocked that cabinet yet. Not 100% sure. So being in a bed would drastically decrease the storage. I mean, the drainage of your health. Which is fantastic, because that's what you need. So I need... Ah, uh, here he comes. Look at Patterson. Well, Patterson's not a worker. He's an engineer. Look at that strut. Go look at that body. Mm. Mm, go look at that body. Mm, mm, go look at that body. Mm, mm, he works out. When I walk through the dirt, hey, this is what I see. Where the hell do you think you're going? Right? Pat Patterson. Patterson. I'm singing your praises and you didn't connect the blasted thing. That doesn't help anybody. Oh, I see. You're going to make the you going to make the robot do it. You're going to make the... What, what are you doing? Going to oxygen generator. It would be kind of nice. I would like it if you had to have an engineer maintain the oxygen generator. You know, like it... Not... It, if... Uh, it, disasters would happen if they weren't typing at it consecutively. Uh, there's no wind, so this isn't going to help. But we are slowly filling batteries, so... I don't actually know. Uh, but what we're going to do, what, what is he, he must have, the thing is, he must have, yeah, based on what he's doing, which is just walking around idle, he is off shift, and none of his needs are low enough for him to go fill them. I guess he could just stand around and watch TV if he wanted to, but his needs aren't low enough. So I'm going to pause the video here. When I come back, uh, we've got a decent little colony going around here, but I think we need to think about expanding a little bit and we'll do that next time.